Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the final best of three tonight. It's Lost in Translation versus Mixup. Winner goes on to play IT in the grand finals. And it looks like Ruin. We're going to start... I mean, like, I, I half expected to load into a Gilly Woosh, but we're breaking that cycle. And I think I'm happy because I like CP process, and that's what we're playing. It's going to be fun. The control point is being contested. Process is fun. It's the king of rollouts. One of my personal favorite maps. I like the, the progression of, of the map. And I think it's really open to uh, non-stalemate-like play. So it's, it's, it's interesting to watch. It's a pretty map. And I've grown quite fond of it. Now, I am... I'm gonna try to time this properly. Small, hamster-like bites of my pizza. Um, I made a pizza in the off time, and I just got it out of the oven, and it's cooling down right when we went live. So, I know there's nothing more disgusting than listening to someone talk to you with, like, a mouth half full of some kind of food. I'll do my best, guys. No promises. Um, but Ruin, we were talking a little bit uh, before we went live about what we expected out of Mixup as far as this game. We're like, well, yeah, I mean, Mixup's mix -ups just going to win, right? And you were like, I don't know. You know, there could be one of those situations where playing too much TF2, getting the game fatigue, or being frustrated at that last best of three. So do you think, I mean, obviously Mixup's the favorite no matter how you slice it, but you think that the loss in translation has a chance? No. Oh, you don't? Okay. Probably not. But, I mean, I, I think that what we'd expect going into this are two five o's or, or five ones. But with, like you said, the fatigue of, of just playing TF2 all day, it's taxing. Um, I'd say I'm going to go with, like, a 5-2? Five 5-2? Two? Five two? I'll go with a 5-2. For mix up. Okay. Uh, yeah. We're going live, so chat. 30 seconds from now, I would like you to spam the Twitch chat window with what you predict this game to end in. Ruin, you said 5-2. to two. I was right with a 5-3. to three. I actually think it's going to be less close. So I'm actually going to go 5-1 mix-up. <clears throat> and we're live, so pretty good timing. Hey, we're pretty, we're pretty good at this here casting thing. And I see something special in the hands of Smeka. Do you? Is that I a direct see... hit I smell? Are they switching this up? Because no? um, Alpha's playing Pocket. Oh, Smack is medicking. Oh, interesting. Yeah. Okay, so Sesco gets the opening pick onto the Roamer. Siegel not having a great day so far. Well, made some good plays, but getting picked early here. Looks like the first pick for Mix goes on to Alpha as Soldier. Interesting, the yeah, switch what? up in classes, though. Yeah, that's really bizarre. Um, sorry, I, I, I saw it and I was like, oh, he's running crit screen. I was like, wait, that's Smacka. So Smacka is medic. He has crits. They're pushing out uh, through choke right now. Uh, lost in translation, win the mid. Um, Enigma is still hopping around the midpoint. Drops Mela at the blue health pack. Uh, but Sesco will clean him up. Here's the crits being popped. Um, Mixup has done a good job of avoiding any of the damage, but Siegel gets caught. Uh, just clipped by the crit sticky by Bedonsky, who did murder Slyn earlier today. What a bad man. Um, and here comes the charge by Blue. They do have Uber. Harblue never died, and there it is. The shiny blue man flying into the clouds. He's going to force out Lost in Translation. Bedonsky's down, and uh, looks like Lost in Translation will get caught out. They did a pretty good job of getting away. They lost a couple, but... Um, by no means out of this fight here. I do believe middle should go. I'm not sure. It's 80% crits ruined, so Smack and company are going to go back in with this crits. Yeah, and I think Mixup is aware of that, so they're slowly backing out as they realize that Smack is going to be getting closer to this crits. They're putting a little bit of pressure on where they see some people out of position, and now they're just going to overwhelm because of that damage that was incurred uh, onto Lost in Translation. It will be really predictable, this crits. Yeah, well, wow. I think that they could have gotten they definitely could have gotten hard blue there. He should not have been on the point, but... It's sticky uh, just like, a, I mean, that must have been, you know, just a few pixels away. I was really close. It went right over his head. The crits was popped. They did get a couple. Uh, got some pressure, but Badonski's not confident enough to go in. Sesco may have thought his team was following up, because he just did the old 1v5 hero mode and got shut down. That's two down for loss in translation, and Harblue's at 90, so he's going to have his super, but no demo for mix-up. Platinum goes down, Tyler and Enigma turn three out, and the medic is going to make four. Smack is swinging his saw, but no target was hit. Mix-up is going to last with Uber. Second will be down as soon as the combo peaks into last. 
Good timing here with this Uber. Um, it should be the round right now unless a uh, pretty significant throw happens. Uh, here comes the Pyro trying to get in there, but no, there it is. Round number one to mix up. Weird stuff at a loss in translation, but mix up handled it pretty well, and they win that round. Yes, they did close it out with the regular Uber charge. Hopefully, the Crits Creek if being ran this time, which it is. No, he's got not. regular. Um, so we will find out later. Regular Uber here on this mid. Let's see if Seagull goes down early. He's going for a fast jump onto the demo. It does manage to get him, so that's a very useful pick at this mid. Although, we have two members of Mixup going down as well. Smacka getting pushed out of mid, dropping down to 28 HP as scouts are sparring there as Platinum picks off Mela, trying to get aggressive. They're now falling back through their choke. Mixup in a bad position. Four members up for LIT. And they're going to back up and try to hold their second. All right, so let's talk a bit about the position change. I think this might be the first time, other than the mix-up, I mean, some mix-up land where they had a Blackie Monster switch to Sniper for a little bit in a game. This is ages ago. For a medic to just switch places with his pocket, which is what Smacka and Alpha did, that's very bizarre and pretty interesting. Um, Harbaloo did stay alive there. Smacka is just getting his Uber. Harb has his ready to go. Mix-up is looking to push right now. Um, and Decimate is down for Lost in Translation, so 5v6, but Mixup really can't get in here, and it looks like we might stalemate out here. But like you said earlier, uh, this map process is not one that stalemates often. A lot of uh, easy double jump routes for roamers to get in and try to force something, and I think we'll probably see something. Seagulls, Seagulls seems pretty itchy to, for, to fight to go, so... Yeah, I would agree with that. Uh, it, it's just that because you can't see every single entrance, from one, per, just one point uh, on any map, or, uh, you can't see every entrance from one point at any point in the map. Um, it makes it so that it's a lot easier to sneak in, you can uh, catch them by surprise, and they did get a pick there, so they're going to be coming in, but they are dropping low in HP, they're going to have to back out of it, Seagull snatching up Decimate, and Tyler's just chasing Smacka, taking him down. And the demo, and potentially the soldier. No, it does not manage to take him out. There are Only two, two members Sorry, of Lost in Translation are in the, the other team's sewer area, which is that sliding door, but Mela and Sesco are known about, and they're going to go down. Uh, Alpha tried to get in, not good timing there. Got to point out, um, on this map, there's two and a half, maybe even three lanes. Actually, we do have a Decimate Roamer play, although he's Scout. He's going to try the medic. He got him. Decimate able to sneak in and take Harblue, and that will save the round for now. Um, Platinum is going aggressively into last. He has the medic in his sights. I think he just piped the medic. He did. Oh, but Smash that kills his former teammate with the medical arrow um, to save this round for now. Platinum tried to... Uh, to kill Smack, which would have been pretty hard for uh, Loss in Translation to hold. But now, they're actually pushing out. Sesco is on the point, uh, peppering scatter shots, and he's going to push out with the help of his team, Mixup, who um, really off the back of that uh, Decime pick. Now, Mixup's on the back foot here, down about 40% as well in Uber, and down a couple guys. Seagull is dead. Uh, looks like there's going to be a fight in the health pack area between uh, Squid and a Soldier, which ended up in a draw. But I think Lost in Translation is going to get in here, Ruin. They have Uber. Mixup is not backing out. Looks like they might want to fight, or at least make sure they force the pop here. I don't think they're going to opt to push in. Badonski was what? low HP. They don't seem to be poising themselves for, for a push here. It looks like they're just going to stalemate it out, which is kind of a strange decision. I uh, the I, yeah, they definitely could have pushed in, maybe even through IT. But choosing the passive option, it's never never the best option. But we're not, we're, we're not the players. We're not at LAN. Well, you're like the best, so you can say it. I can't. I can't criticize, but you can because you're, you're you. Oh, Seagull. Does that double jump roamer thing that we talked about Ooh. got in? His team is going to pop behind him. But Donsky is down, so no sticks to clean up the, uh, the the trailers into this fight. Both Ubers were cycled, and now the fighting is going to take place in sewer area. Mixup got in with a nice pick. No demo, but not a lot of oomph to follow it up. Enigma goes down to Decimate, who gets his revenge kill. And a lot of pressure onto Arbaloo, who stuck out a little bit, but he will make it back. It looks like actually only one of those rockets did damage. 
Here comes the counter bomb by Mixup. They're gonna turn out Mela, who was out a little bit too far on the other side of the map. Badonski is back, kills Tyler, and it looks like we're gonna stalemate out here again. Platinum and company, though, I think they're gonna try to at least get in and spam. But uh, with um, Tyler down, I don't like their pushing power, and Ubers are dead even. Yeah, they are indeed. However, Lost in Translation just did get reinforcements. They will, they should be able to hold this. Decimate, they're picking off Siegel. They should look to push here. That would be the correct decision. They have chosen the, the defensive path before, but I would recommend pushing in and just playing off those small advantages. Yeah, um, Mela is going to get the second kill. We saw the Siegel sort of... He's just going. I mean, it's almost predictable. You know he's going in. He sacrificed, I think, trying to force the push. Oh! Smacka drops his pocket. Alpha, or Pascal, is down. And disastrous Uber exchange for Lost in Translation. Tyler is on his horse. He's all over Smacka. The shoddy is out. Smacka's chasing him down. No, the shoddy uh, is true there, but kind of a, a sloppy last few moments of that push for Mixup. They lost a couple, but I do believe um, without a medic for Red that they should be able, Mixup should be able to take this here. Alpha is underneath. I'm not sure if he's going to try to make a play or just wait. He's thinking about it, but no. The stickies will discourage any tomfoolery, and he will go back to last. Harbaloo will have about a 25% advantage, and I believe Mixup will just get that Uber and try to push uh, to get their second round here. Yeah, and... and... Mixup is just really looking to, to play this one solid. They're not given really any respect to the other team. They're not, they're, I mean, well, they're not playing as if they were playing against a lower team. They're playing right. against what could be uh, IT. So they're just, they're playing it safe. They're playing it smart, playing off of advantages. Uh, Lost in Translation, however, are playing as if they're a lower tier team, player playing afraid, a lot of action on the point, they're trying to defend it, they do manage to get a couple picks to stop it for just a second, but Platinum Sticky Bombs are raining in, Hard Blue's Needles are just wreaking havoc, and they will <laughs> manage to cap that, making a 2-0 with a two-round lead for Mixup. So can you explain the switch, Smack going to Medic, Alpha going to Pocket? Was it just, I mean, Alpha's a very good player, good DMer, a lot of Medics are sort of Medic only at invite level. I guess this is just one of those teams that can do it. Yeah, I think Smacka is a solid medic. Uh, soldier jumping in. Wow, Siegel just it's super fast, fast jumped directly <laughs> onto Badonski. Second mid in a row. Mela jumping on to Harbly, trying to make something work. Does not manage to connect uh, enough rockets. Siegel just picking up Decimate, getting out with 3 HP. Now in the sewers, the scouts are pinching in on the combo. Pascal down to Enigma. And Sky High taking out Sesco, chasing the medic down. And he goes down. This will be uh, what looks like a quick three rounds for Mixup. They have, they're gonna have a full Uber advantage, and I just don't see them screwing this one up. Yeah. Um, well, they have to get in. The medic is pretty close already. Seconds down. They'll just push right in as soon as they're um, buffed or whatever. They're gonna get caught up a little bit underneath. Soldier spam. Mela trying to do. Well, he did about as well as he could have. Forced the pop. Did some good damage too. Uber's not going to be so great, but the point is wide open. Uh, Soldier's going to bomb in, Alpha trying to stop it. Frag's being exchanged, Lost in Translation has a chance here, but now Mixup's pretty good. Alpha the last one, but Donsky the last one, I should say. And he gone, and that is your first half, so Mixup, I kind of thought maybe they might have an issue. Game fatigue slash uh, disappointment, a little hangover from the IT series, but they um, <laughs> they handled their business there. This is good. This is what I want to see. This is what everyone should want to see because this is a mix up not just fooling around. They're not out of it. They're not they their heart's still in it, which is a good good sight to me because that means that tomorrow is a new day and we could potentially see the best series that we've ever seen in two best of threes tomorrow. It's possible because oh, of what we're seeing right now. And I want to point out, uh, Bloodsire messaged me from his iPhone. He's at work over there, but he was watching the, um, or listening, I guess, to the IT mix-up game that we just casted before this, and he said, remember the Zowie Invitational where Mixup actually beat IT? They came back from the loser's bracket to beat IT. It was only one best of three. If Mixup does go through loss in translation to the finals tomorrow, they'll have to win two best of threes, which is obviously a, a huge challenge, but, um, uh, definitely doable. It's happened this season, so... 
And here we go. They're going to switch sweater colors. Blue for loss in translation. Mix up red. Siegel tried his mega aggressive thing again. Did actually trade. So uh, Siegel just <laughs> breakneck speed into mid is uh, still successful. And the red mix up team is swarming over the left side of middle. Uh, they do have Sesko at Decimate flank. Able to come in, drop both scouts. Um, and actually, mix up's going to have to get out of there. A nice recovery by blue. And they're going to be able to take this mid loss in translation now. Um, both teams will have Uber. And actually, it looks like Harbu wants to go right in with his team. How could he possibly know that there's a 10% advantage? He has faith that he's out healed the blue medic and he oh, has. He but drops. nice. Yeah, nice. He did drop the Uber. Um, <laughs> I, I thought he was just going to pop, but you know, whatever. Um, and that's going to queue the, the pop by Lost in Translation. So Smacka got out of there, popped, and now they're going to clean up the rest of Mix Up and they should be able to get mid and probably second. Yeah, and I believe I saw someone try to go into sewers. It looks like they backed out. They're not going to opt for that dangerous play. Both scouts are going to be looking to defend this Spire from jumping soldiers now, making their way in. Woo! It looks like Mela jumps deep and lands two rockets directly onto Harblue, taking him down, potentially securing him this round. Uh, Smack is still alive with what looks like a 50% and growing advantage right now, and they continue to get picks off of this. This could be the first round for Lost in Translation, and it looks like they're back into it. Don't count them out. Yeah, don't count them out. That was as dominating of, as any of the mix-up rounds in the first half. So now, 3-1, to one, still in favor of mix-up, but Lost in Translation. Uh, impressive combo play. Smacka and the rest of his team got out, baited Harbalu to overextend, and actually ended up dropping him. And uh, I gotta point out too that Sesco is uh, winning a lot of 1v1 fights against mix-up scouts, which I don't think a lot of people would predict, but uh, Big Sesco doing it, doing it large. I wonder if he's wearing a tuxedo as he likes to do when he streams. Hope he is. All right, so mid fight number five here. We'll see if Lost in Translation can keep it up. Gonna be a soldier trade or scout soldier trade, Alpha and a Squitter. Here comes the second bomb. Sesco onto Enigma, continuing his dominance, and it looks like Blue's gonna have this mid as well. Oh! oh, oh! Harbalu touched the sky and then got gibbed by the air shot. Smacka did go down, so not all is lost situation for mix up, but holy moly, the DM coming out of lost in translation. Harbalu got air shot. That's that's crazy. Yeah, it seems to me that YOLO mode's been engaged. They heard they heard me when I said that this is the mix up I want to see 3-0. Looks like they're playing really well. And they just decided to uh let Lost in Translation take some courtesy rounds. Make it nice look bad. Well, it's still a long way from over, but uh, definitely. I and mean, there wasn't really a pause in the half. No no pep talk. They just kind of pulled together, and they're playing a lot better. Our Lost in Translation, which is good to see. We want to see competitive games. And again, Decimate and Sesco winning DM fights against uh, Squid and Enigma. And there they go. Um, winning uh, well, Platinum is going to go down. The, uh, the push on the far left side. They have second. They're going in towards last. It's going to be hard to hold this. Enigma spawned and dropped Bedonski on the right side. But Decimate and Sesco decimate the famous Decimate pistol. Drops two. Uncorks the second round. Three to two. Ruin. What's going on? Uh, looks like my prediction is coming to fruition. Yeah, I'm, I'm, mine's gone. Damn it. You, you lost? Yes. Damn so it. this mid, I'm going to be watching from the eyes of Seagull. Looks like he's been doing some crazy business with his rocket jumps all game long. Does manage to maybe mess that one up? I'm not sure. Anyway, he's jumping in, doing a double onto the top of crates, looking for any type of action. Doesn't see any, just doing distractionary jumps. He's trying to take the packs. Does not see that one, putting some spam down from afar onto the combo of Lost in Translation. And they're already seeming to play a little defensive mix up. They're spread out. One soldier going from behind, but Sky High takes out Badonski up front. The demo down is going to be Woo! a lot of missed pressure. Enigma taking out Sesco and Lost in Translation in a horrible position as they are all dead and six feet under. So that will be five up for Mix. That's a free wow. second and a full uber advantage. This could be a quick round unless Decimic goes sniper. I understand he is a good sniping man. Yeah, he's pretty good. I didn't, you know, the, the old story was Decimate was afraid of flying and he never would go to an ESCA land, but he's here and he's playing well, uh, proving it on land. So my theory of him being just a dirty, dirty cheater, I guess is flawed. Darn it! Uh, but yeah, I think Enigma and Squid heard me saying about how well Lost in Translation scouts are playing because they just destroyed that mid and here comes the push into last here. No nonsense by Mixup. They are going straight to the point, killing everything. And it looks like Mixup's trying to get back on track here. Medic, please, smack a no. Four to two and Mixup makes very short work of that round. Yeah, I, I, you know, it's four two, but it's still any man's game. 
a lot of the rounds have been just one-sided in either either direction. So it could really go anywhere. This this game's all over the place. And, the, and unlike the IT game, both teams are selling out at mid, it seems, and we're seeing a lot of full advantages coming out of it like last round. Look at Seagull again, the super fast roller jump. I should have been more on top of watching him. He is killing Badonski before Badonski even gets to mid, which is just something that you can do on process, which is awesome. Um, but man, Badonski, that's the third time that's happened. He's got to be just <laughs> pretty mad. And that mid is over before it even starts. Lost in Translation have their medic up. But um, they're all the way back. No demo to try to hold this uh, mini spire sort of second point here. Badonski actually is up trying, but he's separated from his team. He's getting pressured right now by Scout lower right, um, and it looks like Lost in Translation is going to barely hold. No, they're going to they're going to lose second, but they still have all six. Um, and actually going to have a man advantage, but they uh, they're on the back foot here, and they need to hold, or else this map is over. Yeah, and they do manage to get Enigma. I doubt he will off class. He may go heavy actually, um, oh, yeah. or NG. Maybe. I, I don't know. We, we'll see. But Seagull... Force a pop by Mela. Yeah. Picking off Mela, trying to get a pop off Hard Blue, does manage to do that. They will probably just be playing defensive here, as they didn't have anyone in position to, to make Smacka pop in response. Although he does Smacka does that... Yeah. Smacka has to pop. He was forward. Now they're going to do the old solo Uber here. Alpha is going to try to get in. Now there are scouts behind right now. I'm trying to find where Enigma is. They're fighting on the lower right side. And it looks like the red scouts got the better of that. They're going to try to cap. Tyler's touching the sky. Mela clips him at the end. But the back cap, will they get it? No. Badonsi comes back for it. The back cap. Squitter did it. Wow. So the scouts did get in on the lower left side for mix up. Just uh, out DM and uh, back cap last. So I like that effort by Lost in Translation in that last fight. They just went for it. Went for second and geez, that was the that was the first map. That was really fast. That was like 15 minutes. Yeah, that was uh, was enjoyable for me. Good watch. Wasn't was, was a good. complete steamroll. You got your prediction um, right, buddy. Good job. Yes, I did it. I did something right finally. I've casted like. I don't know, too many games in this game's history. And I could say probably like five out of maybe 150 I've gotten my prediction right. So ah, if I was only good, like Ruin. Um, all right, so that's the first map. And apparently, Cameraman Kurt Kurt, Truck Truck, the best, just messaged me, letting me know a little uh, tidbit of info, which is going to be on the stats, which are up. That Seagull top damaged as Roamer. That's hmm. the rare occurrence. That is very interesting. You don't see that very often. That is true. All right, so killing, uh, they're doing the ban process. So how this works, guys and gals, lovely viewers, is um, teams are going to go back and forth, and the Lost in Translation, since they lost, will eliminate out of the eligible pool of maps, I guess probably about, I guess it's every regular season map, so eight maps, um, they each get to eliminate one until one is left. So I just got word that Viaduct is taken out. Um, also, Coal Plant and Granary. So it looks like no King of the Hill, 